I wonder what's inside 100 rolls of nickels. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and I picked up two boxes of nickels because I went to my bank to grab a nickel box and they gave me the ones with the holes in it and I said, do you have two? And they gave me two. So we haven't checked them for any enders yet other than looking at the bottom. I can see they're circulated, so that's a good sign. Didn't see any things standing out on the bottom, so I figured we'd do a live opening together on the top side and see if we see anything that catches our interest. So, that being said, let's see what we got in here, and hopefully we can continue our luck with some silver and or a buffalo, but more importantly, it's been forever since I found myself a V-nickel. I don't know if I'll get a V-nickel. I don't seem to find them, but it would be nice. All right, man, this one just did not want to open up for me. Got an oldie there. That's always a good sign. Got a few other oldies. I see a lot of the newer profile Jefferson, so hopefully it's not chock full of 2005s and newers, but doesn't mean there's not some goodies inside. Let's check this one next. See if there's anything better or worse. A little bit easier with their job. Maybe. All right. Um, same thing. A lot of newer profiles, but doesn't mean anything. It only matters what's on the inside. I'm going to tear off these flanges. We'll start with roll one and we'll finish with roll 100. Let's do it. Roll number three, just finished pulling out this beautiful 1954 Philadelphia. So I was happy with that. And I just found towards the back of the roll, the 1942 Philadelphia, the transition year before they made the war nickels. Good find, two finds early on. Roll 10, got ourselves a 1949 out of Philly. Roll number 15, and we have a four in here, and check this one out. 20 cents out of Singapore, 1989. First four and five of the box. Roll 16, oldest find of the box now, 1940, out of Philadelphia. Roll 18, we've got a hole in the head, 1947, out of Denver. Roll 30, we've got a 1940 from Philly. A lot of uh, fines so far, or at least not that bad amount of fines, but no silver, no buffaloes, no V-nickels as usual, no 30s nickels whatsoever. Hopefully the box heats up. Let's find out. Roll 33, got another 40s nickel here. It's a 1948 out of Philly. Just cracked open, roll 34, and I see... A buffalo. It's got a mint mark and a date. I think it's 35D. Let me check it out. Definitely a Denver mint and definitely a 1935. So you know what? A Denver minted buffalo nickel in the box? Late in the box. I'll take that for sure. Buffalo nickel number one. The first 50 rolls are 100, and you know what? The last 15 rolls were pretty light. Um, you know what? We didn't get any V-nickels. We didn't get any silver. We did find a Buffalo in 1935 with a mint mark out of Denver. Not in the best shape, but I'll take it. Still a Buffalo with a legible date and a mint mark. Quite a few finds in the 50s. No 58s or 59s, which is odd. And uh, no 41s or any 30s nickels. Only 109 and a foreign. So... Average box, a lot of finds, but nothing truly valuable. The best find is the Buffalo. Let's get on to rolls 51 through 100 and see if we can add some good ones to the stack as well. We're on roll 14 of the second box or roll 64 of the 100. And I've only found a 54 and a 56 in this box, so it's been kind of light. But I bring in because I just uncovered a 1939. So A, we're hoping for a mint mark. And if we don't get one, we're hoping for some doubling. All right, so no mint mark, so it's not going to be a key date, but let's check it for any doubling. No 
Not seeing the doubling that we need to see. A lot of damage on it, typical of the uh, 39s. But first 39 nickel of the two box hunt. So that makes two nickels in the 30s. One a Jefferson, one a Buffalo. Roll 66, finally got our first 40s of this box. And it's a 1946 out of Philly. Roll number 68, and I have not found one of these in a while. A 1938. Can there be a D or an S mint mark? No. But another 30s nickel in the box, and I will take that all day. Three nickels in the 30s now. Roll 69, and we've got another 40s nickel. 1949 Denver. We'll check it, see if it has a D over S. I don't think it does. I'll check it off camera. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Roll 73, a 1947 out of Denver. Roll 76, it's toasty, but it's a 41 out of Philly. Just laid out roll 95 and I already saw it, so I figured I'd bring you in. 1948 out of Denver. Running out of space. With all these finds. Rule 96. 1946. Philadelphia. 100 rules of nickels have been searched. We did not find any war nickels or any V nickels, as is my bane. But we did have 42 finds in the two boxes or 100 rolls, so that's not too bad, about 21 a box. I'll save you the time to go through all the 40s and 50s. I'll just point out my favorite finds of the two boxes. An 89 Singapore coin, 20 cents. That's really cool. A couple of really nice possible album upgraders, an 81 Denver and a 67. No mint mark, of course. The finds of the two boxes, a 35 Buffalo nickel with the mint mark out of Denver. A 38 from Philly. A little bit of a chip on the top right, but not a bad coin overall. And then a 39 out of Philly. No DDO. But three nickels in the 30s, I'll take it. Hopefully you enjoyed this 100 roll hunt for me with nickels. Wish we would have found some silver. Wish we would have found a V nickel. But that's why we hunt. We never know when the box is going to carry one of those. If you enjoyed the 100 roll hunt, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.